Over the years, many tales have been told about locomotives and their railways. Stories ranging from the Big Four, British Railways, the Modernization Plan, and even the Beaching Acts. As time goes on, they are told by generations both young and old. But my stories have never been told until now. For these are my Steam Railway stories. Across the country, there are many different kinds of engines that are built for certain jobs. Some are built for passengers, some are built for goods, and some are built for shunting. But there are also some engines that were built for jobs that were more stranger, but creative in their own way. When I worked on the Great Western Railway, we had these special types of trains called auto trains. Auto trains? What are those? Unlike most trains, where an engine just pulls their coaches and can see ahead, auto trains can run both forwards and backwards without the need to run round or use a turntable. Isn't that dangerous though? True, we travel backwards on our return journeys here, but we don't have anything behind us while doing that and our drivers can just see where we're going. Surely it has to be the same for these auto trains. That is true, Tom, but it's a little different than that. The way this method is carried out is via pulleys and chains that are connected to the controls of an auto coach and in the cab of an auto tank, which were commonly 04214X exits. Their drivers can operate the regulator, break and blow the whistle from the coach, while the fireman stays in the cab of an auto tank to stop the fire, check the gauges and intervene if there's anything wrong. Wow, that's really impressive. I never knew a steam engine could be controlled from its own carriage. That's not all. Not only can auto tanks have the auto coaches behind them and just pull forwards and push them back, but they can go behind them, push forwards and pull backwards. That sounds really clever. Reminds me of a diesel rail car or a high speed train. It does a bit. But unlike those engines, auto tanks can even have a coach in front and behind them. The others were very impressed. It sounded like the Great Western Railway was ahead of its time when it came to railway stock like auto trains. Then Sadie had a thought. In front and behind? Does that mean the engine is in the middle? Yes, Sadie. Why do you ask? Well, <laughs> that means those auto tanks must be... Middle engines. Oh, good grief. Middle engines? It's when an engine has two trains in front and behind. It may look a bit silly and give a new meaning of the term, stuck in the middle, but I think I could pull off an auto-fitted style train. So draw an outlandish city. Plus, I'm pretty sure it goes against railway regulations for an engine to be wedged between trains and still be able to continue their work. Sounds like it. Though, admittingly, I did a similar thing back where I used to work. I shunted trains, not pulled them, and it was some sort of time saver in my eyes. But with these auto engines Alice mentioned, it's alright for them because they have someone watching the line, and are actually designed for this kind of thing. I bet if you tried it, Sadie, you would... But Sadie didn't hear Dom, for she had already fallen asleep. Ugh. I think we all know where this is going to go. The next day, Sadie was making her way to Eversley Colliery, feeling rather confident, for she had a plan. Not be able to run an auto train? Pah! I should be able to manage one too. After Sadie backed down onto her train of coal trucks, she checked to see if anyone was looking. <laughs> Is 
Sadie, what exactly are you doing? Oh, it's perfectly simple, Rob. If auto engines can handle their trains while being stuck in the middle, so can I. Before her crew could say anything else, the little red engine began her trip. But with trucks in front of her and trucks behind, Sadie had to go quite slowly. Sadie puffed along the line and out of the colliery. The gurney was slow, but she felt very proud of herself. This is easy. Yeah, it might take me longer to get to the junction, but I don't see how the other thought it couldn't be achieved. This is a piece of cake. But there was one major flaw in Sadie's plan. Because she had trucks in front of her, Sadie couldn't see the line ahead. And as she had no brake pan on the front end, there was no guard to watch the line for any trouble. Alice? Oh crumbs, I must be early. I'd better stop. Oh no! Now there'll be trouble. you're okay. Sadie, what's going on? Do you know anything about this? Ah, uh, um, y yes, uh, yes. Oh, Sadie, I wonder what Mr. Harris is going to say when he hears about this. That night, they got the answer. Travelling while having a train in front and behind is very dangerous, Sadie. It's a miracle that little damage was done. Sorry, sir. I only wanted to try an auto-style train for myself. Like one of those auto-fitted engines Alice told us about. Those engines were designed for auto-trains, Sadie. You weren't, meaning you wouldn't be able to see where you're going or control your trucks. That, and they are not vacuum-fitted, let alone auto-fitted. Imagine how much trouble you would have had on Abba Incline. I hope you now realise that certain engines are built for certain jobs and those who aren't shouldn't try or risk doing it themselves. Yes sir, I understand now. I'm sorry I tried to copy the auto tanks, Alice. I realise now that engines are built for certain trains and know how to handle them. That's alright, Sadie. It is a known fact that others think something looks easier at first until they end up doing it for themselves. But you have proven one thing today, though. What's that? A middle engine does look silly! <laughs> oh, pa! After today's events, I think Sadie has learnt about auto trains the hard way. Don't you?